Welcome to episode two of the UK's most haunted and today we have a fascinating location for you all. We are at St. Ellen's and we are at the Mill Street Barracks. Uh, do you know anything about what haunts this place? I think what I've read there's a, a nurse seen down here. Um, there's a lady as well. And I think is the soldiers and footsteps and that that I heard. Yeah, there's meant to be loads of uh, footsteps, herds, apparitions, poltergeist activity, you name it, this place has it. But also, the cellar was the morgue area, and it may be the reason why people are seeing these spirits that are just wandering around like they feel lost. Mm -hmm. And also, this place is now a cadets, so it is still used, but not for the original purpose. And the, the staff here do believe it's haunted. Many ghost hunters have come here and claim to have captured all types of apparitions and spirits. And uh, hopefully we will capture something tonight, but there's also a ghost dog here as well. Yeah, but I know when we came here about four years ago, we, we captured, I think it was mainly upstairs, I kind of round upstairs, we captured some stuff up there that's quite and going through there it's all just seen loads and loads sort of orbs when we asked them to come forward so So will we survive the night? Will we find any ghosts? Stick around and watch <coughs> You can actually observe the uh, stage from here now, what would this be back in the time? Would this be like a uh, hall? Well, the barracks, weren't they? So, um, it could have been a hall, yeah. Um, like where so they'd have... the soldiers would have stopped here as well. They would have slept here and lived here. Um, if I remember so right, isn't something supposed to be seen walking along one of these verandas, either that one or this one? Oh, yeah. Do you remember? Yeah. yeah. The bell, that one out there. Um, I do remember it being very active up here. I remember we was on this corridor here, loads of equipment were going off and we were here, there were balls, there were, I think we got little temp... Did you hear that noise then? No. I had some sigh. Really? Yeah. If you're here, can you make a noise for us? Can you that as an eye here? We are now going to turn the lights off. Wow, that's crazy. Whoa, Again. right down there. Who's making noises? Like there's no here. Again, and I remember though, definitely something up there, like, definitely something. So we have a REM pod there, which detects spirits coming forward so people say we have the uh, air pressure pod there which detects changes in the air pressure we have a thermal device here which detects fluctuations in temperature we have a motion sensor there called the flux and we have some uh, cat balls there which are uh, touch sensitive so we've got a motion uh, sensor strip light down there. That line you see the, is actually a line of motion sensors. There's the temperature. We've also got the air pressure. Have you put balls down there yep. as well? Whoa, it's touching it. Yeah, something's the this is reacting though. Something's touching the lights, as you could see. Again. Thank you. 
Wow, he's doing it. Sorry, the uh, picture's a bit wobbly. I've got torch phone, Lee's got SLS and uh, camera in his hand. Spirit, can you walk across the floor, please? There's two, look. Something on the steps? Yeah. Can everyone see that on the steps? Crossover. That's what it said on Are you on the steps, Spirit? Disturb. Some on the steps. Now, the one on your right is. The, is, the, is the bin, or skip, the, the chair. but there's something and there's no object there on the oh. left of the steps. But it's picking so up it, something. It's, the small one is picking up the bin or the chair, but what is on the steps? It's gone now. There you go. Whatever it was, it's gone. It was on the steps, but it's gone. Oh, it's there, look. Something appeared in that doorway then. I think that's barely, I think it was. No, I mean on the right, that one, the, the bear. Anthony, Anthony, that says. Who's Anthony? Well, it appeared then. Are you here, Spirit? Bill, are you still here with us? Let us know you are. Touch one of the lights or make a bang for us. Can you do that? I do a voice recording, I pressed record. Can you please come forward and speak into this device on the table? We are in your underground, we are in where the morgue was. Can you tell us what happened here? What was stored here? Can you tell us what war you was in? Are you a captain or a corporal? Play that back. Play it back straight away. I saw a question, I can't remember, about the nurse and the uh, transfusions. I'll ask that in a minute, guys. Have you a the car in? I'll press the car. Can you please come forward and speak to this device on the table? What is a corporal? What is that? Is that a, is that a well, rank in the army? Yeah, of course it is. You have sergeants, privates, corporals. That sounded like it said corporal. Admirals and so on and so on. A major and all way, way up. Yeah. I think it's private and then corporal. So down there is believed to be the morgue, what was used really? for storing the soldiers. And also people have seen uh, the apparition of a ghost nurse Damn. down here. We have just arrived at checking out the place for signal Bell. and for all of the stuff. Do you know what bells are said for? Bells are, are meant to do. Did you hear that? What did you hear? Like walking there. Oh, I had walking above us. Yes. So bells or used to invite spirits forward. Can you come towards me? Please let us see you. Show yourself as a ball of light. If you can, you do that. Wow. Can you do that again, spirit, please? Please let us see you. Show yourself as a ball of light. Show yourself as a giant ball of light, please.
All right, so we've got many devices on this floor. Please don't be afraid of them, nothing will hurt you. Can you please use them as a way of letting us know you're here? Well, the bear's going off. Thank you, but is that you? Could you switch the other bear for us, please? I'm going to do an EVP right here. Spirit, if you're here, there's a voice recorder on the floor. I'm going to press record. I want you to speak into it. Can you tell us your name? Are you a soldier? Are you a nurse? Can you make a loud bang for us? Yes, I am. Are you a nurse? Can you make a loud bang for us? There's something there. When you said, am I a soldier? Are you a yes, I am. Listen, guys, very clear. Listen. Can you tell us your name? Are you a soldier? Are you a nurse? Can you make a loud bang for us? Okay, spirit. I ain't gonna hear it. So the vent pod's going off. I ain't gonna hear it. Well, thank you, spirit. Can you do that again? Or do you not want me to come in there? I ain't gonna hear it. I'll come a little closer. Can you just have your nice one again? Oh, do you not like when we're up here? Are they not loud up here? Okay, I'm going to come past. You see, guys, it won't be loud, but what? Me near it. Oh, that's not me, don't block that. That's touching the aerial. I'm sorry, Spirit, do you want me to move out of the way? Do one there. Sound are pretty look. angry and there's something touching the, the bear shall, guys. Shall I walk up again? If you want, yeah. Do it slowly. See if it does again. <laughs> I don't mean to hurt you, Spirit, or upset you. I'd like to go into that room. Can you please tell me who you are? Can you please tell me who you are? Can you please tell me who you are? Was huge banging. Can you hear it? Shall Definitely something mm. there, but I Not can't make cake like... out. So that was tonight's investigation, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, what, what was your highlight of uh, tonight? I found it quite interesting every time I went across that corridor and went near Rempod. 
it, it didn't go off. And then as I walked away, it seemed to go crazy. Um, as though something maybe didn't want me to go down there. Yeah. But yeah, it, it was uh, quite a good, it's an interesting place. I think we need to go back again because there seems to be more, you know, more rooms that we can go in and things like that. And we just yeah. had a quick walk around the accommodation and everything, which is pretty good. I think time flew faster. It did, it I think quick. we needed more time. Definitely. But we did capture quite a lot, a lot of stuff. We captured the SLS uh, standing Sticking on the out, stairs yeah. at the left hand side of the of the stairs. Mm -hmm. We also got some strange EVPs on the yeah. afterlight box downstairs. It said something to do with. It said ship, didn't it? it um, obviously, it's the sea cadets now. There was loads of orbs, but that could be oh, just God, dust, yeah, guys. Downstairs, that, but honestly, some were that very, could be dust. Could be, but I think there was some orbs in there. So they're very solid and very s slow coming towards the camera. But it's good. Mm. Good some unfinished business with that location. Absolutely, we'll, we'll uh, definitely return. Who knows where our next location will be? I'll tell you where it's going to be. The ancient ram. In oh. sex demon, that's what's Think there. So, it. just so it said, yeah, we've got to spend two nights, two full nights there. Now, so. Two nights, interesting in the demon house. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> <All> right, so. <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. Watch thanks, the next guys. episode. Will See we soon. will we survive the incubus? Well, Bye, everyone. You'll survive the incubus, yeah, of course. I will. Bye, Bye. everyone. <laughs>